in our daily lives, heating takes up a lot of energy. Most of that energy nowadays comes from fossil fuels like oil, natural gas and coal. If we want to build a more sustainable future, we need to replace these fossil fuels with renewable ones. We already have the pyrolysis technology to produce biofuels from, for example, wheat straw, sunflower husks, pruning residues, roadside grass and other non-food biomass residues. So why aren't we using pyrolysis oil instead of fossil heating oil? Well, the properties of pyrolysis oil are different from those of heating oil. As a result, regular heating boilers cannot handle the pyrolysis oil yet. But this will change once we have a new burner technology in place. The good news is that new burner technology is now available thanks to an innovation of residue to heat, a European consortium of companies, research institutes and universities. The success of residue to heat consists of three parts. Advancing the existing pyrolysis technology, finding applications for the rest stream of minerals from the pyrolysis process, and the hardest part, developing a sophisticated burner for residential heating boilers. The first idea was to design a burner which is able to combust uh, pyrolysis oil, which fits on every kind of uh, boiler in the market, of oil condensing boiler in the market. Uh, in my point of view, uh, pyrolysis oil is a very promising second generation biofuel, but we have to solve several issues regarding the viscosity, the combustion, the, the ignition of the fuel, and uh, also the suit. Pyrolysis oil, unlike diesel or light oil, has a high water content, affecting its willingness to combust. Standard injector systems and nozzles are inadequate, so the engineers at Residue to Heat had to redevelop the vaporization system. Another issue to solve was the transport of the fuel from the tank to the burner. Pyrolysis oil has a higher acid level than light oil, leading to corrosion and viscosity issues. Last but not least, Combustion modifications were necessary to avoid ashes in the flue gas and combustion chamber. Our goal in this uh, project was to uh, develop a new burner um, to be fed with uh, pyrolysis oil. Pyrolysis oil has very different properties than normal uh, heating oil. Uh, for example, its viscosity is the most characteristic property of this fluid. It is very viscose and um, there was a model developed to predict the evaporation of uh, pyrolysis oil and the next step was then to develop a reaction mechanism to predict the, the combustion process of pyrolysis oil. And these two models were uh, combined in a CFD application and now we are capable to, to predict the flame pattern and the temperature distribution in a boiler in a very uh, complex geometry using just very new fluid properties that we didn't have before the project started. The outcome of residue to heat is a new burner technology for condensing boilers, one that can handle pyrolysis oil or pyrolysis oil blends as an alternative for fossil fuels. That is a new nozzle holder and uh, the new developed fuel generator with two spark plugs for igniting the FPBO that fits the new burner that way. As we speak, the residue to heat technology has left the laboratory and is now implemented at BTG, a partner company within the consortium for testing and monitoring the technology under real life conditions. Here, the residue to heat boiler is operated in a cascade with a traditional natural gas heating system. Based on the positive results of residue to heat, we decided to build and install a prototype boiler and to be able to test under real conditions. Here we receive the fast pyrolysis oil and fill up the fuel tank. We have a storage capacity of about a thousand liters and from here the oil is automatically pumped to the boiler on the first floor. Our conventional heating system is based on natural gas and now we added a pyrolysis oil boiler. It is a so-called condensing boiler leading to high efficiencies and low flue gas temperatures. In between, we installed a water buffer tank, making the operation of the boiler a little easier and smoother and reduces the number of starts and stops. In parallel, we will initiate, together with the partners, the cooperation with boiler burner manufacturers to get these sustainable units introduced as alternative for fossil-based 
heating systems. Residue to Heat closes the loop on the long-standing promise of using local biomass residues as a source of sustainable heating. Energy from the region for the region. Instead of transporting biomass and minerals around the world, we can now use them right where they are, in a local network of small-scale pyrolysis plants that transform biomass residues into clean pyrolysis oil. The rest stream of minerals can be used as a fertilizer for agriculture. With the innovation of Residue to Heat, we can now create a sustainable heating solution in which all feedstock, rest streams and warmth are produced, used and reused locally. The next step in the future of energy will take us from residue to heat.